this is Gurit Gopharm and welcome to my life coaching videos, Gorilla Life Coaching videos five times a week. I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So today the quote is the day of the day is, what we feel is a choice. It is by Piyush Shavistav. This is so true but most of us don't know this to be true. Our emotions are our choice and we can control our feelings. Now this is definitely not an easy thing to do since uh, the way we react to any situation is wired within our brain through neural networks that have been firing in a specific way as a result of similar situations for a very long time. But our emotional reactions can be changed and should be changed so that we can live a better, happier life. Now the first step is always awareness. We have to be aware of our emotions, of what we are feeling, and when we tend to feel this way. What are the triggers that set off this emotion within us? This is a question that we should be asking ourselves. What are the triggers? For example, you can get angry when your children don't listen to you, and you have to ask them again and again. Or you can deal with this situation in a totally different way, a better way. You can get angry when you're stuck in a traffic jam, or you can react completely differently and see it as quiet time for yourself, for example. For every situation, there are people that react in a different way, in a more positive way, to the same situation. So the way we react is not set in stone, and we know that neural patterns and therefore also emotional states can be changed. When you choose to examine your reactions right before they come and to see what triggers them and to choose to change them into more beneficial states of emotion, then you are really taking responsibility for your emotions and for your reactions and basically for your life. Now I know how difficult this is to do. In fact, it is always almost impossible um, at times to control your emotions as they come but you can also control your emotions after they come and choose not to stay in the state of a negative emotion any longer, but rather to replace the emotion to a more positive one. So how do you do it? Well, uh, there are three steps uh, to changing your emotional state to a happier one that, you can, uh, ha that can help you live a happier uh, life and enjoy life much more. So as the saying goes, what we feel is a choice. So if it is a choice, and I tell you that it is a choice, let's make it a better choice and choose the most beneficial emotional state for us. Now, if you find yourself depressed because of your circumstances, especially at this time with the coronavirus ramifications, then you can change it firstly by changing your physical state, the physical state that you are in. It is not difficult for us to see the difference between a person who is happy and a person who is depressed. First of all, they hold themselves completely differently. A depressed individual will have their shoulders slumped and will look down and will have this expression on their eyes as if they are half closed or they will look slumped like this. Um, <laughs> on the other hand, a happy person will have their shoulders up and uh, will usually have a straight back and will have their chin up and they will walk straight and look more alert. Their eyes will be more open. We all can tell the difference. So the first thing that you want to do is change your feeling state, is to change your physical state. Stand erect, shoulders back and even smile. Force a smile on your face and you can do that. Now I tell you, it is almost impossible to stand erect with your shoulders back and head up high and to feel depressed. It doesn't go together. It is a different neural network that allows a person to stand erect than one that, uh, that allows for feelings of depression and anxiety. When I first learned this, this really changed my life. I was very, very depressed um, from my circumstances at the time. I had no money. I was a single mother of two special needs children and no support for my family. And I was really walking so slumped that one day someone at work told me that I should straighten my back, that I can't walk like that. It looks terrible. So I did. 
And when I, when I did, I noticed that I uh, felt much better. So a day later, uh, while in a medical device shop, I was working in the ambulance while I was studying medicine, and I, I came, came into a medical device shop, and I found a strap that helps you keep your back straight all day, and I bought it, and I used it every single day. And uh, I was walking much straighter, and I was feeling much better about my life. And this strap didn't let me fall back into my unconscious ways. It helped me become more conscious of my feelings. So this is really the first step. Change your physical state into one of a happier person, even if you are not right now happy. And this will help you change your state. Okay, so now let's move on to the next step, which is the way we talk to ourselves. During that period in my life, I remember always asking myself the same question. Why me? Why did this have to happen to me? And this question is common am amongst people who are feeling depressed. But what the question does is actually place you in, it takes away your power. One that you, it, it puts you in a place of uh, having no control over uh, where you are. And uh, when you feel that you are powerless and have no control over where you are, then you can't really change your state. Now, um, if the question uh, you are asking yourself um, leads you to such a negative state, then you can also change the way you, uh, the, the questions that you ask yourself. Uh, and then your emotional state can, can change as well. So instead of asking, why is this happening to me? A much more powerful statement and a, um, one that can empower you is how can I, uh, what can I do to improve my situation and make me feel better? Uh, what can I do to make me feel better? What can I do to help myself? Asking yourself empowering questions will help you change your state of mind much faster. And this will help you take responsibility for your current situation. And once you take responsibility, of course, you can change your, your current situation. Now, the last stage towards changing your, um, your emotional state is changing your focus. When you are focused on what is not good, of course, this will get you uh, in a depressed state and keep you there. But what we choose to focus on is our choice. It's also under our control. If we can change focus from what is not currently good about our life towards what can we be happy and grateful for in our life at this moment, if we can make this shift, then we have mastered the new and better emotional state. It is really that easy. I remember flying to Israel from the United Kingdom where when I got a divorce from my first husband. I went to live for a few weeks with my daughters at my father's house. And he would try to tell me all the time, look at what you do have in your life. And uh, I can tell you that apart from being able to breathe, I couldn't find anything to be grateful for. And, uh, but I did slowly learn to change my focus and look at things with a slightly different point of view. So getting out of a negative emotional state such as depression is not an easy task. And it really is a task that you must choose to do. Uh, uh, and I also want to state that, uh, of course, nutrition can help. And I will add a few um, videos that I've created about different emotional states um, in, the, in the description of this video below. So as I always do with these videos, I will provide you a question that you can ask yourself so that the answer you get will help empower you to a better place. So the question of the day you want to ask yourself today is how can I change my current situation and make me feel better? Very simple. How can I change my current situation, one that I'm not happy with, to make me feel better? Now, I recommend, as usual, writing this question in a notebook that you keep, especially for these coaching sessions, that you can look over them from time to time and see how you are improving in your life. Now, the affirmation of the day is very simple as well. I feel joy and ease in this very moment. I feel joy and ease in this very moment. Now tell this to yourself as many times as you remember to do so because with repetition, an affirmation has the power to alter your consciousness so that you think and behave differently for a better and happier life for yourself. So I hope you like this video. 
if you did give it a thumbs up please and subscribe to my channel if you're interested in this content also visit my website the gorilla diet for many programs on health and nutrition and weight loss and anything to do with living a more natural life so thank you very much for joining me here today Thank you.